Hi Doctors, today we are here with a new topic from Oxford Gynecology. So today we will discuss about something uh, about the history taking and some points uh, which we need to be uh, know uh, when we inspect or when we examine the pregnant lady. Okay. So the current pregnancy, uh, what we know about the current pregnancy or current pregnant lady so that much of this information they are already written on to the handhold note that the name the age occupation relationship status gravity there is number of pregnancies brevity parity that is the number of the birth or the babies which go beyond 24 week of gestation the expected date of delivery can be calculated from the last menstrual period but it is not uh, a very uh, uh, specific or very uh, common because uh, in different ladies the menstrual cycle may be different in some ladies they, they might be have some shorter period of time of their menstrual cycle maybe some have the longer period so uh, uh, that will be a variation and this variation will not give us some specific a point about that of expected date of delivery so we use another method that is a Nigel formula so about this formula we have to add one year and uh, add seven year to that of the days seven days to days and subtract we have to minus three from three months for example if the month is nine so we have to subtract three from that month and for example the day is uh, 12 then we have to add seven, and the day is the year is two thousand twenty. So we have to add one. So it will be two thousand twenty one. So most often done with an uh, obstetric calendar. Inquiry about the detail that may affect the validity of the patient's estimated uh, date of delivery is calculated from her last menstrual period, including the longer cycle irregular period. Okay recent use of combined oral uh, contraceptives so uh, these should be these points should be asked uh, to the that of the lady uh, during uh, okay uh, and what about the scanning purposes and what how we know by using instrumental method for uh, the to estimate the DED and there is a dating scan between 8 to 13 weeks or more reliable last master period and should be used to provide an EDD uh, where possible so Dating scan mean we can use ultrasound method uh, in that we measure the crown to brim or from head to buttock uh, size of the fetus. Okay, when uh, and this side this size give us the gestational week. Okay, that uh, for example the development and the growth depending upon the week of gestation. So by uh, comparing the growth to the uh, okay according to the standard of gestation we can easily find that this baby is with this gestation period and this baby has this week so we can estimate the edd and configure and uh, estimate the date so inquiries about the current pregnancy including the general health of the maternal uh, state or the mo mother including the tiredness malaise and other uh, non-specific symptoms if more than 20 weeks inquiries about the fetal movement uh, because after 20 week mother can feel the movement general detail of the pregnancy to date previous admissions and current problems a result of all antenatal blood test routine and specific so about antenatal blood test mean that uh, antenatal is a period from uh, the starting of the pregnancy till to that of the first week of uh, after birth so it is very important and a very critical state for also because uh, in this period we should uh, give some instruction we should uh, say the mother to for the daily routine checkup because we have to uh, keep our eyes on the pregnant lady and the fetal development in order to inhibit or in order to exclude any risk factor uh, which maybe contraindication for the pregnancy or which may be dangerous for the fetus or some for the maternal health so we have to exclude all those risk factors 
so how we can exclude we can exclude those risk factors we can make improve the pregnant condition uh, pregnancy condition once we follow the care of antenatal period okay so a result of anomalies and others can it should be we should also check regularly the anomalies if there is anomaly by using scanning purposes methods if she is postnatal okay, labor and the delivery history of the postnatal period if she already gave birth then we have to ask about the labor how the labor is the labor was is the labor uh, okay was it normal or not the de uh, delivery and about the complications of the delivery and history of the postnatal period um, for example and the, the delivery is performed and what happened after the delivery delivery was it uh, the third stage of stage the third stage of uh, stage of uh, delivery was normal or any complication for example there is the postpartum hemorrhage okay if there is severe bleeding or uh, there is some laceration of that uh, the genital drag or there are many other complications which may occur after the delivery that is called as postnatal period or history okay we have to take into consideration also so and about the uh, obstetric history that should including the current pregnancy in detail the past obstetric history past gynecological history past medical and surgical history past history and drug history and allergies social history including the recreational drug use and domestic violence and psychiatric illness especially in postnatal period family history especially with regards to multiple pregnancy diabetes hypertension and chromosomal or congenital you know, malformations so gravity and parity uh, we already know about this that gravity mean the number of pregnancies and uh, parity will be the for example if the pregnant lady uh, has a fetus and the fetus crosses the age of 24 week of gestation this means that the lady is now preemie prim parity okay if the lady is uh, pregnant and uh, her baby is uh, less than 24 week of gestation uh, so that condition is called we can say is nalip, uh, nalipera okay so this is something about and what about the other features there is obstetric history other relevant features that history often repeat itself so uh, previous antenatal or intrapartum or postpartum uh, complications should influence the management of the pregnancy so uh, sometime uh, you know what happened for example the lady gave birth in past okay and uh, at that time uh, after the delivery she feel be that is a postpartum hemorrhage so maybe there is a chance to have uh, the postpartum hemorrhage this in this pregnancy also or maybe uh, in if we uh, read the history of antenatal care the past okay the previous one so we come to know that uh, what were the complications at that time if there is some sort of infection if the, there is some sort of uh, delivery uh, problems or some cesarean sections so we can uh, uh, reduce the risk uh, by by taking some uh, preventive measures in this pregnancy so these all these things help us in uh, a care in uh, making a, a good condition for the mother during pregnancy past obstetric history including the details of all previous pregnancies including the miscarriage and terminations and length of the gestation date and place of delivery onset of delivery including the detail of induction of labor mode of delivery sex and birth weight fetal and neonatal life clear details of any complication or adverse outcomes such as shoulder dystonia and postpartum hemorrhage or stillbirth shoulder dystonia is a condition in which the shoulder get fixed somewhere into the uh, pelvic cavity during delivery okay. so what about the past uh, gynecological medical or surgical history some method of uh, contraception before conception previous gynecological procedures cervical smear history medical conditions such as hypertension epilepsy or diabetes detail of any uh, consultations with other physician neurologist or endocrinologist or uh, psychiatrist so these all these point neurologist if she went to neurologist it means she had some sort of psychological distress or some neurological problem endocrinologist maybe uh, this uh, 
mom uh, in the past uh, she suffered from some sort of uh, endocrine defect or endocrine problems that may affect the fetus and now uh, um, who is going to be formed so all these things are, are very necessary involvement of uh, multidisciplinary team okay mdt detail of any previous surgery drug and allergic history so uh, if she this is also very important because there are many drugs which causes some teratological effect which cause some anomalies and which uh, cause some uh, sort of abortion in first uh, trimester okay and which is very important for that so drug history is also very important point during the history examination or history taking so drug and uh, allergy history mean current medication medication take at any time during the pregnancy any allergies and their severity uh, for example anaphylaxis or rashes this is the sign of allergy family history any family history of uh, hereditary illnesses or congenital defect is important and is required to ensure adequate counseling and screening is offered family familial disorders such as thrombophilia and previous affected pregnancies with any chromosomal or genetic disorders hypertensive disorders early pregnancy loss or poor preterm delivery and consanguinity so all this important these are the very important point because uh, uh, if uh, some uh, lady she is suffering from some sort of hypertensive crisis so may it leads to uh, some uh, abnormality into the of the fetus or it can leads to pre term uh, delivery okay if uh, the she has some thrombophilia that uh, is the condition uh, which make the conditions of the mom after delivery bad so about the social history about the smoking history of drug or alcohol abuse plain for breast feeding and social aspects such as plain for child care arrangement and domestic violence screening so all these are the points which help us in uh, uh, taking the history of the pregnant lady pregnancy